Jeff Berry, alias Beach Bum Berry. I've written several books about tiki drinks, and I've got a restaurant in New Orleans called Beach Bum Berry's Latitude 29. And this is my fourth rum fest. First one was in 2009. Um, what got me to Rumfest originally, back in 09, was that I had written a book 10 years ago called Sip and Safari, where I revealed for the first time the never before published tiki recipes that made rum um, so, uh, so much of a big deal in the mid 20th century. Sort of brought rum back from the doldrums. And in the 10 years that's happened since, so much has gone on. There's been this huge tiki revival, been this huge rum revival that I didn't see coming when the book came out. So now there's going to be a 10th anniversary edition of the book, um, annotated with new recipes. And um, along afterward, about the 10 years that happened after the book came out, all this tiki stuff that's been happening, I've got an, e I've got an interview with um, Ian Rum Ambassador Burrell in the book. I've got an interview with um, Trailer Happiness and Mahiki and all the great London bars that brought tiki back, um, uh, bars in the US and in Italy. And I'm sort of like catching up to like everything that happened since that book came out. I'm really excited about it. Well, not all tiki bars are good. There are good tiki bars and there are bad tiki bars. Just, there's good everything and good and, and bad everything. But um, the best thing is uh, find yourself a good one. Read the reviews, you know, see what the, um, the ratings are and go to a place where the bartenders know what they're doing and if they're good bartenders they're going to be thrilled to introduce you to the category and they're going to ask you and if they don't ask you ask tell them what you like to drink what's your favorite drink well i like cosmopolitans or i like long island iced teas or i like rum and cook i like a dry drink a sweet drink that you tell them what you like and they'll find the right drink for you and the right rum for you and that would be my main suggestion um, and then the second suggestion of course is um Rum is at the heart of all of this. There'd be no tiki drinks without rum. So my next suggestion would be to find the rum you like. And again, a good bar will do that for you. Um, they'll, if you are a scotch drinker, if you're a vodka drinker, if you're a gin drinker, they will be able to figure out the right rum for you. And that's where you start, and then from there, you know, you find your own way. The thing I've learned over the years, the one thing that struck me, and it took me forever to figure out that I was swimming in the wrong ocean, um, these are tiki drinks served in Polynesian themed bars and restaurants, so I assumed the drinks came from the Pacific. No. Tiki drinks are Caribbean drinks. They're Caribbean drinks squared or cubed. Instead of just rum, lime, and sugar, like you would in a Jamaican planter's punch, or a Cuban daiquiri, um, or a Martinique tea punch, or a Trinidad swizzle, Instead of just rum, lime, and sugar, it's like more than one citrus, like maybe rum and, uh, excuse me, maybe lime and grapefruit, or lime and grapefruit and passion fruit. Instead of just sugar, it'll be like all of these like uh, spice-infused syrups, or maybe honey, or maybe maple, combined together to make something more complex. And even rum, instead of just rum, it'll be two, three different rums from different regions, different body and character, blended together to give you a base spirit that no one bottle could give you on its own. So. Tiki drinks are basically just more complicated versions of Caribbean drinks. And if you want to know the roots of tiki and understand tiki, look to the Caribbean.